So good morning once again. So welcome you to this 30 hours certificate course on professional documentation and presentation skills using MS Office. So today the first uh, session will be on introduction of this course and we'll just start with the basics, right? So what are the contents that will be going through from this 9 to 11 uh, at the first two sessions? So why this course? What would be the course objectives and the outcomes and what all uh, contents will be covered here? And next, we'll start with uh, introduction to this MS Office as such, the entire application. And under that, uh, all the uh, topics that I'll be dealing with will be about the MS PowerPoint. So we'll start with the introduction of uh, MS PowerPoint. And then we will get to know a few basic commands and tools that are used in uh, PPT. OK, so some of you may know very few basics at least to open a document and close a document or a presentation, right? Some of you may know even more. So each one of us are going to be at different learning levels, I suppose. OK, so we will have it as an interactive session. So wherever it is required, you can uh, give your inputs also and make the class interactive, right? So why this course? OK, so uh, just a minute. Um, in the Google, I mean, in the meeting, I'm just giving you an uh, link in the chat box. Okay, I'm giving you a link to a classpoint dot app link. You just click on that. Okay. So whenever I give you a question, so in my total presentation, I have included some three word clouds like this. So when I say there's a word cloud and I ask you for a question, you just have, okay, you have to click on the link and you can see the class code here on the top on the on my screen, 93235. Okay, so you enter the class code and you just type in your name and then you can answer the questions. So please click on the link which is given in uh, the chat box and give this uh, class code. I've also given that link in this WhatsApp group. Okay, please click on the link and enter the class code 932 three five nine three two three five okay so i just want you to discuss on why this course so i have started with the word cloud i'll give you a few minutes i want you to type in what do you think this course is about or why you should know about this microsoft professional documentation and presentation this certificate course why is it going to be useful or what is it? What is your expectation? You can just type in your answers. Enter the link that is given in your WhatsApp group or in your chat box. Class code is 93235. I want all of you to enter the class code 93235 is a class code give in your name and just put in your answers. Please make it interactive just type it. What is the expectation of this course from your side or what is this about? Why should you know documentation and presentation? I don't see even a single answer so far. Please type in. Yeah. OK, thank you. I want all the participants to join the link and interact it there. Interact. There's a link in the chat box. Click on that. Give the class code as 93235. So there are only 16 people joined the link so far, right? 
please join in this. Sixteen have joined, and I got only two. Okay, three answers now, right? It'll be more useful in project report. Okay. All right. Management side, yes. I'll give you two more minutes. Join the link. Give more answers, please. See, this is just the beginning of our presentation. I want it to be interactive. And this is, again, a big learning point here, this slide itself, right? So please join it and enter your answers, and then we'll go forward. It's very important for you to attend the class, participate in the class. OK, I'll give you exactly one more minute. But I still see there are only 22 participants who have logged in itself. Yeah, so more 30 seconds. So thank you. Right. OK, sorry. So we have answers like to develop our intellect about MS, about Microsoft, OK? To solve simple equations. You're going to solve equations, fine, right? It'll be more useful in project reports to get an overview of the application. It's so useful at the management site for the project and in a professional environment to present the data right so thank you for thank you all for uh, participating in this right so all these are uh, what you expect and that is what obviously we are going to look into right so the objective so you will learn the essential skills like you said so the basic three skills you require is the documentation presentation and the equations calculations whatever in the spreadsheets right so uh, to learn the essential skills to use Microsoft Office applications, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint effectively to prepare professional documentation and presentation. So can someone unmute and tell me, as a civil engineer, is this really important for you to learn this? Why do you have to learn about professional documentation? OK, project work, it is just a part of your course. You're doing it right. As a, technical civil engineer where do you think this application would come can someone unmute and tell I'm okay and so, while survey what are you going to do uh, we'll have to work with data and spreadsheets yes right okay so taking surveys yes okay good any other answers while making boqs uh Excels are very useful. Okay. So for Excel, you can find a variety of examples, right? For estimation, okay, bill of quantities and uh, the data collected from the surveys. All right. Thank you. Okay. To keep the record at, uh, mm -hmm. of activities like from uh, predecessor to successes, like that. Okay. So sequence of operations, processes involved in a project. Very good. Anyone else? As a civil engineer, the application in MS Word or PowerPoint? Word is used for a tendering purposes. OK, good. Tender documents, OK.
Yeah, anyone else? Okay, thank you. So you will be learning these three major applications which we would have come across in school basics in the school also. So we would be uh, refreshing all these basics and the final topics in all these would be the application in civil engineering. So we'll take one of the applications uh, from civil engineering and we will tell you how to um, do it using these applications. OK, so the syllabus is split into like these three applications. So out of the 30 hours course, 10 hours each would be taken for each of the application. So first 10 hours, I mean, we are just splitting it so, so that it is not monotonous. We have uh, five different speakers and also the, you know, every day we will have two hours of uh, Excel, two hours of Word and two hours of PowerPoint so that it's not just monotonous. Okay. So Excel, we will have the basics of Excel, how to use an Excel, copy, paste cells, use the formulae, how to use charts and all that. And finally, we will see how to do a structural uh, uh, design, a simple design problem we'll take. So like RCC design problem we could take and whatever you do, the manual calculations, obviously we are going to give the formula. So you have to know the basics of uh, the design and we will just have it as an, uh, uh, we will give it as an input and all the formulae will be inbuilt in the so uh, Excel so that anyone can use that Excel to design easily. So not everyone has to keep on doing the calculations manually. We can use this Excel for to do further design of structural uh, design for similar problems, right? Similarly, another application that we'll be going through is the project cost estimation. Like you said, for estimation, valuation, you have, you're seeing a lot of uh, scope with Excel, right? So we'll take up a problem on that and we'll be looking into. In Microsoft PowerPoint, again, 10 hours, we will see the basics, how to navigate through it, how to do a presentation, what are the do's and don'ts, how to make it uh, very presentable, right? And here, what is required as a professional student or once you become a professional after your course, it is very much important for you to express your thoughts, to communicate to the people. So for that, you need to make uh, presentations, right? Your thoughts have to be uh, conveyed properly and you have to do some poster presentations. For all these, uh, this will be very uh, useful, right? And Microsoft Word, the basic uh, application that all of us would be using for the documentation. Again, we'll be going through all the uh, basics of how to use, what are the different uh, smart shapes, smart arts, flow charts, what all can be done, how to um, type in equations, all kinds of symbols and equations, how it can be done, right? And again, related to civil engineering, estimation uh, report, evaluation report preparation, that will be gone. Uh, we'll be learning about that in this Microsoft Word, right? So the outputs, the outcomes is that is, uh, you know what are outcomes, right? Yeah, at the end of the course, what you will be able to so, to do. So I'm sure that you will be able to completely understand and uh, you get to know more. So those of you already know the basics of these three applications will be able to do more and uh, probably we'll be sharing you uh, with the shortcuts. So, you know, something extra, I'm sure something extra you will get to learn from here. Okay. this is very important for you to effectively communicate yourself okay so the second content uh, for the session is about ms office okay so about microsoft and uh, what are the office applications that are available so microsoft oh right so microsoft is an american national technology corporation OK, so they generally produce uh, producers of computer softwares, consumer electronics, personal computers. And they are also best known for all these Windows operating systems, Microsoft Office Suite, about which what we are talking about all these applications, the Internet Explorer, Edge, uh, the web browsers, right? And everybody is in this generation is aware of Xbox, right? The PlayStation. So. Uh, Xbox is also their product, Microsoft Surface, the laptops, and you also had Microsoft phones. 
and in this era of all this pandemic situation and where it has become all uh, work from home culture uh, like how we are using these google classroom so most of the offices they go for these microsoft teams and outlook is just basic messenger and mailing uh, application okay so in this office suit so what we are going to look into office suit is again there are a lot of applications in that right so recently we have this office 365 where it is a package of uh, many applications and for business people you separately have office business for educational uh, institutions like for the teachers and for the students we have a separate thing for that okay so the very basic thing what we are covering here in the course is the word excel powerpoint so word is the documentation application uh, do you know any other application where we can do these documentation work sorry just a minute yeah can someone just uh, unmute and let me know what are the other documentation applications you know like ms word what other software or what other application something in this pandemic time we have started using a lot or you can google docs yes good google docs right so from google you have that other than that this microsoft office is you know a licensed uh, uh, so, uh, application the software and you need to buy it so we also have open source software so there are a lot of word applications also so there are different versions for these documentation purposes and so the most um mostly what we use is microsoft word ms word or nowadays we also use these google docs right so similar thing for excel excel is a spreadsheet uh, application again the other alternatives we have again open uh, software free uh, freeware source, uh, sources and we have these uh, google sheets powerpoint also we have google slides okay so alternate so uh, can someone tell me what is the major difference you think between these MS applications and the Google applications? Any one or two major differences between these MS applications and Google applications for the same Google purpose. applications, two or more persons can work at a time. Yes, good. Okay, very good point. Right. So that you're working completely online and uh, so with whomever you share and with whomever you give the editing options you will be able to share and work on the same file here also we can have this online ms but you have to uh, complete it you take it to the cloud storage and then you can uh, use it right okay so now you have basic uh, idea of these three applications I'll tell you what other applications are there in this MS Office suit itself. OK, so you have like for project management itself, you have MS Planner. There's a task management to do is there. M MS Project Online is there. OK, and for uh, emailing, you have this Outlook. And for the major office applications, if you see, you have OneNote. OneNote also many of you may know where you can take notes, right? So one note is there. Then you have database management, which can be done using Microsoft Access. And there's one more thing called Publisher, MS Publisher, where uh, it is very easy for you to create any uh, brochures, uh, flyers, greeting cards, calendars, you know, all these type of publishing posters. It is very easy to do in MS Publisher. Okay. Right. So what is GUI? So once we have come into this uh, computer era, uh, so initially we had this command prompt and now we are into this uh, graphical user interface. So all these MS applications, it, has, it is very easy to use. Everything is within the click of a button. So you can find the um, commands and tools easily. You can search for them and you can do it. And we also have a lot of keyboard shortcuts where you can do things even more faster, right? So you can use the mouse as well as your keyboard to do anything on that, right? So next we will just go into this uh, 
Microsoft PowerPoint, the introduction and application. So basic applications. So it can be for educational purposes where teaching learning process. So like the teachers can use to teach the concepts as well as if the students want to do a seminar, they want to uh, do the project presentation for all that you will be requiring PowerPoint presentation, right? Sorry. Yeah, first let, let us go to this slide and then we'll go, come back to that, right? Again, please go to the link that is given in the chat box. You can just share that again. Okay, please go into the link. Your class code is 93235. I want you to tell what are the applications of just the PowerPoint application, Microsoft PowerPoint application. What are the uh, uses? What can you do using this PowerPoint? Please go into the link that is given in the chat box. Class code is 93235. Okay, to present the report collected, very good. All of you would have seen or use the PowerPoint, right? Almost all the teachers are using PowerPoint to teach you. And you also would have done the seminar presentations and some report works or some, uh, okay. Okay, if you're not able to join the class, you can just type in your answers in your chat box also, please. If there is any issue in joining the chat, the link, please give in your answers in the chat box. And those who have logged in, please enter your answers. So out of 25, there is only one answer so far. Yeah. Create dynamic slide presentations. Very good. Animations can be done. Will have great visual impact. Yes, visualization of the content is important. So those who are not able to join the class go class link, please enter your answers in the chat box. Right. Graphical representation, good. More visualization, yes. I hope all the 25 answer here, right? As a photo slideshow, yes, good. I'll give you two minutes. Do you think that's all? All the applications have come in? You can type in your answers in the chat box also. Narration over slides. Yes, you can create uh, audio clippings, right? So for the slides, you can have the audio presentation recorded also. Even video can be recorded along with the slides. Yeah, I'll just give you just 30 more seconds. But I just hope that all of you interact through this link or through the chat box.
All right, I'll just skip. Okay. Yes, so you have said most of the applications, so you can use it like a photo slideshow. So just with the photos, you can communicate with the audience. You can have more visualization uh, to present the ideas, yes. So it is a form of communication, uh, you know, other than just orally. So you will not have any monotonous effect, right? So you will have all different kinds of presentations, dynamic slide presentations. So it can be colorful, it can have animations, it can have uh, uh, 3D views. So we'll be seeing how to make 3D views also in the uh, PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation. Present the report collected. That is right. Now, uh, even for a project uh, report or something, right? Or you go for a, a symposium and you want to present a paper. So you have some content, some document you will have as too much of written up uh, material, written material, right? That is important because all the quantities, all the data, all the information have to be documented. So we will have a document. But the same thing when you want to present to the audience, depending upon the audience, you want to convey to them, right? So, you know, if even if you take this a topic, the certificate course topic, there may be a few people in this uh, audience who knows, you know, almost everything in these applications. So the PowerPoint, uh, we do not know exactly how the audience is. Basically, we just know that you people are students or when you do a presentation in a conference or a symposium, there are, there's going to be a mixture of uh, research people, faculty, students, right? But we should be able to convey our uh, ideas and our written thing to the layman level also. So whoever doesn't have the basics also should be able to understand and it should have some content which uh, will be conveyed or which will be some additional learning point for those who know the basics, okay? So it is very important that you present the data correctly also. Next thing, you have a document, you have a lot of written material, but in the presentation, you don't just copy paste all the uh, content, right? We just make very brief points, very bullet points. So we just make to the point or we just like make keywords. And uh, with that, we make up our words and we, with the oral communication and with the use of the PowerPoint slides, we convey the uh, essence of the report. So it is a additional tool which helps us or which adds on with our oral communication. Okay. So like you said, it has great visual impact. Obviously, when the uh, slide is colorful and you have animations, it is more easy for you to understand any complex uh, idea that you want to represent also and you can have graphical representation so you can have instead of just numbers and tables you can bring it into uh, some charts or some kind of uh, different variations you can bring it narration over slides or uh, yes when you have prepared these slides and nowadays there are you know few conferences which are happening online conferences also so in few online conferences uh, you can see that there will be live presentation okay like this we will have a, a g meet or something and each one of us can present our uh, uh, paper in certain online conferences what they do is they give you a time they say 10 minutes video you have to prepare and you have to send it so in that case what you do you have these slides prepared you make a narration over it so you record it separately and you have to send it so to do this narration you don't require a separate application for that you can do that in the PowerPoint itself. So in latest uh, editions of these PowerPoint uh, application, you can have these narrations. And even with your own video, you will be able to record the slides and then you will be able to send it. Okay. Right. So these are the basic applications. Uh, so in the next uh, Right. So in the next uh, session, we will be going into these, uh, going into the application. We will open the application and see how to use it. What are the different menus? So all that will be uh, doing it. Right. So for now, uh, I want you to 
do an exercise unmute okay i want you to tell so far in this presentation what do you think is the plus or negative in the presentation itself okay you can just unmute and you can let me know what is plus and what is minus that you have seen in all uh, in the slide so far yes plus is the theme you used ma'am oh, okay thank you yes any other answers please any other plus or minus about the presentation okay so you would have seen in uh, during your online classes and the uh, lectures that are being handled using ppt right so you will have you, you would have seen animations and you you would have seen for problematic uh, problems you can also uh, use you know with the writing pen a digital pen can be used to write on this so we can use it like a whiteboard and we use it or we can use a pointer right all these applications are available here so in addition to this so just because this is introduction before going into the uh, basic powerpoint itself i wanted to give you a few things that i used in this uh, presentation right so right. one thing is the slide scope Uh, slides go you can go do google search on this you will have a lot of themes we know that already powerpoint has a lot of themes to be used that can be used in slides go you will have even more n number of uh, themes will be there now like for the one example that i have taken this right so there will be some basic templates based on the topic that you choose so if it is going to be a, for a toddler or a you know kindergarten kids i have uh, there will be some presentation templates for that according to that you will have all these side fitting features and all that which you can copy paste color theme all that can be chosen okay so that one thing i want to give you as an extra tip for the presentation the second one is this ink no class point this is an additional thing that i just trying to use now like the word cloud that we uh, did right so because it's a trial version i understand that the limitation is only 25 participants were able to join in this right but the application i'm just uh, you know exploring so where you have i'll just open this okay i'll be able to create a multiple choice question if you see, look at my screen on the top i can you can see right you can make a multiple choice question you can make a word cloud or i can give you a short answer where all of your answers will be collected and at the same time i can review it right so i can make it to be uh, the answers can be visible to all or it can be invisible and just i'll review it myself okay so there is the slide drawing where i can open it for drawing like if i have a graph you know i just draw the x and y axis again i can ask you people the audience to draw on that draw the graph on that and then we can check so it is like a live classroom is made very uh, interactive okay so you have image uploads and then we have these white backgrounds also just like a board to be used or we generally use what we generally do for this problematic subjects is just we have white screen and we just write on it right so this is another application uh, where i just try to use so i just wanted to tell you about these two tips so that is one is the slide scope and this ink no class point okay so i hope uh, this was just an introduction to the entire course and just a very basic introduction about the powerpoint i'm sorry you are not able to see my screen you're seeing right yeah 
okay so okay now i have stopped sharing so this was just a basic introduction to the uh, entire course and to the application uh, powerpoint so in the next session we will start with the um, application how to open an application and navigate through it how to save how it is saved and all that right okay so th this is the end of the session so we will join again at uh, uh, 10 o'clock we can join 10 minutes break Okay, we'll have a session at 10 to 11.